Hey guys, it's Tesso here. Welcome to my rack view. Now, there's very various options you have for microphones. You can have XLR or USB. USB, the connection, it works on, some of them work on, you know, a USB. Now, I'll show you what XLR is. And XLR is what's this microphone connected to. When I went, oh, excuse me. When I went to XLR, I had to buy an XL, a female XLR, XLR input to a USB. Now, I'm going to have the link in the description below. I off Amazon. It's actually, it ranged like 15 I'm not sure, like $15 or whatnot, but this core, it's magic, all right? So I'm going to just be off the mic and I'm going to show you. This mic is the uh, it's the new it's the newer uh, the, the description the the actual link will be in the description below and also be in the comments it is the newer 800 and it comes with I actually got the hit where it came with like I know some mics like you have a arm armature I got my armature here that I use all the time but I have also desktop mics they actually can be really handy too because there's different things that you can get for them like like stands and whatnot. They're very, you know, they don't have to be huge, but yeah, stands. I'll show you that mic a little bit. So this one is the, uh, I don't know if I sound all right for you guys, but this is the uh, NW800. It's newer. I like it. It was, it was, it was reasonable for a kit. But um, I I don't know for price range like price range wise because you guys I'm Amer um, uh, like in the Amer Amer I got it in in uh, Amazon.ca they have Amazon.com that might be cheaper for a couple of you uh obviously uh, a couple of you guys overseas that's gonna be cheaper for you guys but hey I'm in Canada so you know what I like my mic okay so this is the newer five it's the newer 800 sorry not the 500 800 Okay, now this guy over here, this guy, he's a uh, the newer 882. Now, I he, he works it kind of like how they have the blue, blue, they make the spark. This guy is totally affordable. I I forget what the price was, but I'll definitely have the links in the description, be all description below. It is the newer 882. Now, this little guy, he comes with a pop filter, and he also comes with... Obviously, the shock mount. Like, if you have an armature, a shock mount is a great way how to um, get rid of some of the some vibration that's going to be given through your voice. Because I know I do a lot of recording. I go, "Hey guys, it's Chase over here." This guy, I can just I can yell at him all day. It'll, it'll work. So, do look him up. This I'll say. Um, I don't. I can't actually put quote me on a price right now, but I'm gonna actually have. The, the actual links in the uh, description below in the comments. So do look it up. This mic is the the newer the new it's the newer condenser mic. And I, on the box it said the quietest mic in the world. So it can help me. So so next mic up, guys. This microphone is the uh, it's the Pile. It's the Pile Pro. Yeah. PD uh, PD seven eight whatever this mic it's uh it's probably the cheapest out of all of them it was under thirty dollars so it was on Amazon guys I know like some mics like out there that some are professional but as you can tell from the voice from here you can hear it's a little bit quieter than the other two like I think like that this this mic it's actually good for people that first start out they want to go on a budget. But definitely look up this mic. This use all three of them using XLR. And next, uh, I'll get down to USB mics because we have some big names. So I'll put the description again in. I'll put the uh, link in the description below, guys. So listen to this mic. Hey, if it works for you guys, just hey, go with it. But I'm saying, yeah, these mics they're all awesome. I love them all. So yes, this is the pile. So next mic.
This th this is the first of the USB microphones. What I mean by USB is unlike the XLR microphones, this one it has to be strictly connected to USB, and it actually has a USB input. Like I'm, uh, I put the name of it, but it's it's right on the back. Uh, yes, uh, this the only th unlike the other ones, this one has a mute button. This one, like a lot of these USB mic microphones, they have a mute button in the front, like you can see right. One second. Uh, turn this guy around. See, there's a mute button. But, you know, since it's a car I'm like, um, you hear me better when I'm facing right right in front of it. Like, this, like when I talk behind here, you don't, you, it's kind of muffled out. Or this one, it's actually really good because I'll say that um, I like it out of the USB mics. It's my favorite one because... The the Yeti, I'll say that it was my first. The Yeti was my first USB mic, but this mic, it actually it was a little more cost effective than the Yeti. This is the Samsung Meteor, and what's awesome about this is it's very travel. Like it's travel, you could travel with it. It's small. Like the the uh, the Yeti was about. I don't know, like 15 pounds or or not 15, but like eight or something like that. This mic is something like four pounds. And it sits, and what's really cool is, here guys, just one minute, I'm just gonna unattach this, show you something cool. This microphone, it can be used as a desktop microphone because this guy, he actually has legs. Like this guy, he's actually really, really, really good for just folding up and just, okay, I'm gonna take him on the go. I can't fold up this one, one cord, but yeah. This guy, it totally folds up like, does that in the back. I can't do it on the back because I have cords sticking out right now, but yeah, like it's really, it's effective. Like it's, if it's in front of a desk, if it's in front of a desk light, like mine, like, I could just stand it on the desk and it could just stand like that. But yeah, so if you guys are looking for a microphone that's strong because this is this is metal, I'll say like when it comes in a Yeti falling, I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna break. But this this guy, this little guy, he can take a beating. But a good thing is uh, another item that I have is a handy little item that will also muffle out the access noise. It's called, it's a windscreen. A windscreen, it kind of takes up the fuzz. It's kind of like a pop filter, but kind of not. It's more like a sock that goes over your microphone. Now, I have this, the, don't let the name fool you. This is called the Dead, this is called the Dead Kitten uh, Windshield. And what it is, is just a sock. It's just a thing that goes on your mic, like right here. Right, right here. See? Oh, okay. Right, right here. So, it kind of, it helps, but it also, um, there's a lot of scratchiness in everything, but I'll say the uh, Dead Kitten, uh, the Dead Kitten sock, uh, the windshield, does help. You can get other windshields, like the other mic that we had in the XLR, that, uh, that fuzzy, that foam thing, that's kind of helps like a wind, uh, like a windshield. It's like another, it's another foam. It's a thing to protect it. This will actually, this will actually um, help out. Yes, cat. Yes. Hello, kitty. Hello, Roxy. All right. So this this mic, it's actually really really good for people that are on the go all the time and that do travel. So I definitely recommend it. The link will be in the description below. Let's get to the next one. This bad boy. A lot of people know. Like. The Blue Yeti. Now, the Blue Yeti, it's very powerful mic, as you can tell from my voice, because, um, yeah, it's it's one of the well-known ones, uh, Blue Yeti. But I'll say it's it's good. I like I love Yeti. I'll say it's my it was my first USB mic ever, but it's not really cost effective. I'll say that it's handy because it has a little mute mic, uh, just like the uh, Samsung uh, Meteor. It has a a mute button. That's what it is, and there's a, a a volume knob, and just like the the blue the blue meteor, the little knob on the front just controls audio. This actually has a 
it actually has a gain, a gain and an audio. So it actually has three different or four different settings on it. So you can go louder mic. This is heavy as fuck. So if you guys really go with something like this, I'll say be aware of um, know your inputs. I'll say like right now it like I have to turn my my mic down. Okay, sorry guys. Um, yeah. So know your no no know your limits because I I remember like with this one like I'll say even the dead kitten it actually works on the blue the blue yeti one minute. Here we go. Now this, all right, sorry. I kind of pressed the mute button. This is what, it, this is pretty much what it is like with the windshield. It does help, but I'll say that it still is very, very loud. And unlike, the only thing I don't like about the pile, the pile is it has no volume on it. You can't control it. This one, you can control the volume and control the gain. Now, with the Samsung Meteor, there's software that you can download that you can actually have um, what is it? Uh, noise cancellation. It's actually a good feature within the Samsung mic, but this mic, this is you have to you have to like adjust it physically. So, guys, figure out what's the best buy for you. All right, moving on. Last but not least, we have the lovely Astro A40. Now the A40, unlike the other microphones, they come with a, they come, it comes with a, uh, you can get it. It actually, I got the one with the preamp, but you can get the preamp separately, but it actually should help the mic, the microphone. It's good because the, these are comfortable and it's cool because on the headset, they, they can't change them out. You can switch this mic to this side and it's really cool because you can move up or down up or down and all this this one actually has an optical output in it it's an optical output and the uh, as a stream output and also there's the auxiliary auxiliary and the headphone jack and then the other two if you want to connect more I'll say this is more of a gaming headset but I'll say that this one is the most expensive out of all of them it was oh god something like five hundred dollars so guys if you're really really into gaming I'll say that sure this could be the mic for you but it could be don't you don't necessarily need to buy the most expensive equipment to do good so I hope that you guys can decide what mic is better for you all links of all the mics will be in the uh, comments will be linked in the comments and will also be in the description below guys thank you this is my first um, this is my first review, my, my review, because I'm always, you know, I'm animated, I'm animated in the mic, so I'm always using my mic, so hey, if you guys have to learn what, what, what mic, if you guys are new streamers, if you guys are old streamers, if you guys are, like, just getting in there, and you have to understand, what could I buy, because that's, that was the hardest thing for me when I became a YouTuber, is, what is the best mic for me, and until I found it, that I think the best mic for me out of all of them was probably was probably this guy right here, the uh, this guy. Newer because I'll say like I, I do I have a, I have a speech impediment but it's kind of like I use a lot of P's in what I say because that's what a pop filter is good for. That's what this little thing is good for. You can get also get them in black. They just uh, they can just um, have a screw and they um, they screw and they just hang on there. But yeah, that's another. This one has a built-in one, so I like it because this one it's the best I have. So pick, guys. You don't necessarily need the most expensive equipment, but yes, audio. Sorry about the audio or sorry about the uh, visuals, guys. But I'll say that video and audio is key. To YouTube because I'll say you can get obviously other I'll even link other of the uh, accessories like I'll say um this all right this one screw is handy let me just get it off okay now this screw is really handy because um I'll say like all these mic all these mics they come with one of these screws but they made out of plastic they're cheap 
go out and buy something better. This is metal, so this is a, you know, it goes on the uh, the mic stand, and it goes into your bottom of your, like, it goes into the bottom of your your mic, and then it'll it'll just go in there. But still, it's screws, so I could attach, say, um, even I have one on this actual stand. But if I have one like this, see, right now it's like this little itty bitty thing. This is another stand. This is a multiple stand that I can use. It's just stands. Okay, but I can actually just screw this in, and I'm ready to go. And all I have to do is plug in the mic and put it on my desk, and it's there. So, guys, I hope this video has helped open your eyes. I hope this video, if if not, leave us a like and tell me what you guys think. Tell me about, like, you know, tell me what you, what you guys think. Because some mics for me might not work for you, or some work, mics that don't work for me work for you. Guys, leave me a comment. Le please leave me your input. So, I gotta thank you guys. And I'm gonna see you here. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. See you guys!